Hey, what's up? My name is Antonio Remarker and today we're going to compare direct and indirect questions. Well, actually, mainly we're going to focus on indirect questions because they are rather complicated. First of all, let's take a look at two examples as a frame of reference. What do you think about this dress? Sounds very natural, a usual direct question. Tell me what you think about this dress. And this one is indirect. Have you noticed some differences? Firstly, punctuation. Secondly, this part of the second sentence looks almost exactly the same as the first question. The only difference is the word order. In the first question we have inversion as we usually do in questions. And in the second, indirect question, there is no inversion. The word order is as in a statement. And here are some peculiarities of indirect questions. First of all, they appear within another sentence. Tell me something. It is a separate sentence. And within, we put a question. What do you think about this dress? But the question changes its form, it loses inversion. So, the word order is as in a statement, no inversion, in indirect questions. Let's take a look at two more examples. Does he know what he wants? Does he know it? What does he want? Does he know what he wants? Here, no inversion. He wants. No auxiliary verb does. We drop it. Do you understand what I am saying? Can you split the sentence into sentences, into questions? Do you understand something? And what am I saying? Together we have, do you understand what I am saying? You have probably noticed already that an indirect question can be found within a statement, like here, tell me something, and within a question, like here, does he know? Do you understand? I should add that indirect questions are usually more formal and more polite. Therefore, if you address someone you know well, you can simply ask, where's the bathroom? But if you ask a stranger, better use an indirect question and say something like Could you tell me please where the bathroom is? There are some other phrases you can start an indirect question with if you want to sound polite and formal. And I wrote down a couple of examples which I want you to change into indirect questions. So right now, pause the video and practice a little bit. Change these sentences using these phrases. And here are my variants. Do you know how much this car costs? Or could you tell me please how much this car costs? I was wondering who's the manager. I'd like to know what the time is. Or could you tell me what the time is? Do you know what the time is? Different variants. Um, is there any chance you could help me? Notice that in all indirect questions, the word order is as in a statement, no inversion. However, do not forget that in some of who and what questions, even in their direct form, there's no inversion. For example, what makes you so sad? I was wondering what makes you so sad. In this case, the word order in the indirect question will be absolutely the same as in the direct question. And finally, the last issue I want to touch upon today is using yes or no questions within indirect questions. Here, usually, we add if or whether. Let's take a look at this example. I wonder if they work here. Do they work here? 
I don't know. So I wonder if they work here. I want you to create two indirect questions right now. Pause the video and practice. Do you know if we can park here? Are you sure you speak Spanish? Or are you sure that you speak Spanish? Okay, that's it about indirect questions. If you have direct questions to me or indirect, write a comment. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Anyway, that's it. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next episode. Happy English and Russian practice! Bye!